Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm still in the autumnal mood and I've got a copper, a gold and a silver. I've also got some black, some lamp black by Amsterdam. All my colours and brands will be listed in the description box below. But today I'm going to do a tree swipe. So I've got some leftover paints from a previous creation and some of the scrapings from my table when I clear my table. So I'm using that to be my base colour. So I'm literally just tipping out those colours onto the base. I'm going to add a little bit more black to that base. I'm going to swirl it around and that's going to be my base coat before I start layering my paints. It's one great way not to have any wastage from creation to creation. So you can use up all of your leftovers and all of your table scrapings. So the idea with this creation is to use the three main colours of copper, silver and gold in a swipe technique and the base colour is really going to be mixed up using my palette knife. So as you can see I've added all the paints to the base, I'm using my palette knife now just to spread all that paint out and that's going to create the base of this creation. And when you swipe you're going to uncover some of the other colours that have infused within the base coat we're layering now. So I'm just using my torch to pop any air bubbles before I layer my paints. I'm going to take each colour in turn, but let me show you a quick close up using the scrapings from my previous creations. And this is the form of the paint that you can see on the canvas. It's a marbled effect. There are some colours deep within that base, so when I swipe, they're going to pop through. But it's a really great way to minimise any wastage. So I'm happy with the base. I'm happy with the consistency. Again, you can find a lot of details in my description box. Take a look at that. I share my colours, my ratios, and lots more information. So... I'm going to start off with the copper and I'm going to layer that directly in the centre of this creation. And then each side of that copper colour, I'm going to layer the gold and then the silver. And the idea for this is when I do my tree swipe, half of the creation will reflect a cold summer's day. So it's that point of autumn where the temperature, temperature is changing, but the sun is still quite strong and shining through. And then the other half, which I'm layering with my silver, is a crisp, cold, autumnal day. So I'm trying to create some mood. I'm trying to create some emotions within this piece just by using this basic colour palette. So the colours are layered. I've got some plastic to swipe my colours out with. This was a previous collaboration I did with a great group of people. So I use my swipe tool often. So I'm going to use this to swipe out my colours just slowly across the canvas and then we can start our tree design. So when I swipe, whatever tool I'm using, sometimes you'll see that I've used toilet paper, other times I'm using this plastic sheet, I'm allowing whatever tool I'm using to make contact with the paint I've already got down on my canvas. 
I don't apply too much pressure. I literally allow the tool to hover on top of the paint that's already down. And then all I do is I swipe in one direction, applying not too much pressure. And I allow that paint to kind of be moved with the tool that I'm using. So in this instance, it's the plastic and I'm going to glide it across the surface of that canvas and it's going to pull that paint with it as you go. Every now and then I do just wipe off the excess paint because I don't want that black colour to be swallowed up by the other colours. And I'm literally just going to layer the tool on top of the paint, gently swipe it across, clean my tool off and repeat that process. So let me take you in now for a close up just so you can see the base that we've already created. We've used those colours to create this tone across the base of the canvas. And you can see how those three colours, the gold, the copper and the silver, along with the black, have infused together to create different tones across each side of the canvas. So the exciting bit is coming up. We're going to start doing our tree design. And this time I'm going to use toilet paper to swipe. So I've already prepared my toilet paper, but just so you can see, it's literally one sheet of toilet paper folded in half and then half again. And that's the width that I'm going for initially. So I'm just going to tear that in half so I can use the most paper so it's more efficient and more effective. And I'm literally going to place the paper down. I'm going to place the paper on the canvas, allow some of the paint to soak in, and I'm just gonna swipe some of those gaps that have appeared. And then I'm gonna use the same paper, so the toilet paper, to do the tree swipe. So the idea here is to now use the toilet paper as your swiping tool and you're literally just going to create the tree within the paint that you've already swiped out. So I'm going to start off with the trunk and the branches and I'm just going to take one half at a time. So I'm going to concentrate on the gold half first. And all I'm doing is I'm using my toilet paper to just swipe lines throughout this creation. I'm not a fine artist, I'm not great at drawing trees, but if you just take each tree branch and each tree trunk one step at a time, you can create a really good detailed picture using the toilet paper and the paint that you've already layered. Reduce the size of the toilet paper again by folding in half again, and then just create branches. Just move your paper, across the base of your canvas in different directions, overlap some of the branches that will create some depth and some movement in the piece and just go for it, just free flow and don't be too worried about what the end result is going to look like. Just put your toilet paper or whatever tool you're going to swipe with in the paint and create those lines. You're creating that tree swipe now by using the paint you've already used. And guys, remember, it's about having fun. 
don't worry too much about the end result because we can tweak different sections. Once you're happy with one half, move over to the silver half and again repeat that process. Just draw lines in the paint that you've already laid down. I'm pretty happy with this and I feel that I've got enough branches and detail within this creation so let me take you in now for a close-up of the wet version. You can see all those lines we've created and you'll remember the process when we started. So we laid down some paint, we swiped across those three main colours of the gold, the silver and the copper and then we've literally taken some toilet paper to swipe through those branches just using the line formation, overlapping some of those lines to create some depth and some movement. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll take you in for a closer look at the dry version. So here we go, here's the dry version. I'm gonna go in different directions just so you can see how the light bounces off this creation. Depending on where you stand, this creation gives a completely different feel and look depending on where the light bounces off the paint that we've layered. So I'm gonna take you in for a closer look now. You can see how that paint has dried. You can see how those branches have really popped through from the base colour and how that gold and that copper and that silver really shimmers through. And each side of this tree gives that different vibe that I was hoping for. I really hope you've had fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this. And I'd love to know if you're going to do something like this too. Let me know how you get on. Let me know if you've had fun doing it yourself. And remember, be kind to yourself and just allow yourself to enjoy your creative process. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. See you soon, everyone. Bye.